Hey everybody, good afternoon. It's Jason um, here just trying to give you guys some advice on peroxynitrites. So the only reason why I know about peroxynitrites is I had a phone consult with Dr. Mark Harris in Montana, like I want to say a few months ago. Um, and we talked about this. Um, before I jump in, I just want to say thank you so much, everyone, for being a part of this group. Um, it's been um, a pretty awesome experience for how many members we have in the past few months. Um, you know, my life has definitely gotten a sense of joy, and um, I'm thankful for everyone on this group because, like, today is kind of a, a tough day for me. My ankles hurt a little bit. Um, I didn't really want to do the video, but I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do it. So I'm here just trying to give you guys um, some advice and what I've learned about peroxynitrites. But before I do that, um, I have some exciting news. I actually got invited to the first ever like fluoroquinolone meetup with doctors in Minnesota. Um, I reached out to Dr. Hansen um, and he was thrilled that I'm going. So I'm thrilled to be going. So it'll be nice to be around other Floxies and doctors that actually care about our situation. Um, I'm a little worried about walking onto the planes and, you know, getting on and off planes, walking like, you know, and, you know, I'm, I'm not walking like a 34 year old guy. I don't walk too fast, but you know, I'm getting better every day. So that's kind of big news. I'm like really excited. Um, I can't wait to meet Dr. Hansen. Um, I guess Dr. Gleely is going to be there and um, Carrie from that nutritionist um, place that works with Dr. Hansen that I saw a few months back. She's really awesome. I can't wait to meet her. So yeah, it's, it's cool. It'd be a bunch of like-minded people. So peroxynitrites, it's a really hard subject. I don't entirely understand it like Dr. Mark Harris does. Um, he has a PhD in ND and um, I paid him like $85 to do a phone consult and he knew all about fluoroquinolones. He's kind of like a, a mitochondrial guru. So he, he told me about peroxynitrites and peroxynitrites are basically like a result of too much reactive nitrogen species, which are worse than reactive oxygen species. So your cells have um, certain antioxidants they take in and out. But if you have too many peroxynitrites, it doesn't really utilize catalase, superoxide dismutase, glutathione. It doesn't utilize those antioxidants that your body is producing on a normal basis correctly. So what happens is if you have too much nitrogen and peroxynitrites in your body, um, that creates a hell of a storm, right? So you're not utilizing the antioxidants that your body would normally use to fight free radicals or um, reactive oxygen species. So that ramps up. And when that ramps up, that actually damages tissues because the cells get damaged. So the lipid layer gets damaged. The protein structures get damaged and um, basically that starts a chain reaction of damage because there's too much RNS and ROS, right? So if you don't address the peroxynitrites with supplementation, you're enabled to utilize a lot of the supplements that you're taking for the reactive oxygen species. So there's a huge amount of studies on peroxynitrites with CFS, ME, um, a lot of chronic fatigue syndromes. It's all related to the upregulation of peroxynitrites. There's a few supplements. Dr. Har uh, Mark Harris advised me to take 400 milligrams, which in his mind is a therapeutic dose. And I think that ends up being like four pills of the ones that I take every day. And that actually combats the peroxynitrite formation. So it kind of stops it. And, and this is like a cycle that's continually going to happen until you can get the cells to work properly and the damage to, to be lower. And that's all from the proper supplementation against RM, RNS, which is reactive nitrogen species and reactive oxygen species. So it's kind of like a balance. Like normal people can do this on like a daily basis because they're not screwed up like on the cell level like we are. So that's the real issue. Um, and I didn't really know about this until I talked to the doctor. So I went years without addressing this and I had no idea, you know, especially when you get fatigued or tired, um, I think it upregulates it because your cell metabolism is faster because your cells are, are utilizing energy more. 
So that's a lot to do with, with those cycles. Um, he basically said it's nitric oxide. Um, so that gets like produced in the body and it doesn't get eradicated by superoxide dismutase, I guess. That's what he said. Um, so you have to supplement to get the peroxynitrites down. Um, I've done some research. Resveratrol is pretty much the baseline supplement to take for peroxynitrite damage. And you can Google that. Um, ask your practitioner if that's a good idea. Um, you can reach out to Dr. Mark Harris. He's in Montana, Bozeman, Montana. I've never met him. I just I found him on a YouTube video talking about mitochondrial damage. And I was like, this guy's really smart. Let me call him. And um, he, he's really knowledgeable. And he kind of explained to me the you know bird's eye view of how this stuff works. And I kind of understand it a little bit, but not like him. Um, there's another supplement called Witch Hazel. Um, I've never taken it. Um, it comes in like tinctures and stuff like that. But um, a lot of people with CFS and ME are taking that. Um, so the studies do show that it's an issue. And actually, Lisa Bloomquist from Floxy Hope, I, I saw, did a really interesting article that I haven't fully read, but I noticed, um, I think a couple weeks back, it was on another of the Floxy groups. And um, she picked up on it a long time ago, too. So it's definitely something. And there is a study um, basing a lot of the fluoroquinolone damage to peroxynitrate formation. And when I was um, in L.A. to see Dr. Gleely, um, I ran it by him, too. And, and he um, did kind of agree that it, it's an issue. So um, I would say at least talk to one of these doctors. I mean, I've only spoken to, like I said, like Pace and Flattery, Dr. Mark Harris, Dr. Mark Gleely. Um, I've never speak, spoken to Dr. Hansen about any of this stuff, but, you know, I'm hoping to pick his brain at the seminar. So I hope this helps a little bit. You know, I feel like every little piece of knowledge that I've learned over the past six years that I can give to you guys to try to eliminate some symptoms um, can, can help alleviate a lot of this stuff we're all going through. Um, you know, today was kind of a bad day for me, but I'm hopeful that my night will be better because I got a new puppy, which is super excited. Um, his name's Bodhi. He's this cute little shepherd, um, sorry, border collie. Um, yeah, and he's totally awesome. I'm really excited. So guys, if you're going to take any supplement, just please run it by your practitioner and just let them know, like if, if they don't know what all this stuff means, at least like run it by them and ask them if it's safe for you to take. Um, I do know that resveratrol does thin the blood. So I don't know how that reacts with blood thinners. And I'm not a doctor. I'm just giving you the advice that was um, told to me by Dr. Mark Harris, which, you know, I paid for a consult. And that's one of the main things he brought up. He said, ubiquinol is super important and resveratrol. He's like, stop the peroxynitrite formation, get rid of the heavy metals, fix the gut, take a lot of ubiquinol for the cells to have energy. And um, he said, you start feeling better, which I do start. I, I started to feel better. My brain fog decreased a little bit. Um, my energy went up a little, you know, a little bit. My energy really went up when I took a lot of CoQ10, you know, and I was taking like a, like basically 400 milligrams of ubiquinol and I moved it up to a thousand milligrams. And now I'm at two milligrams of CoQ10. So I don't suggest anyone try that, run it by a doctor, see if it's okay for you, but I have all the energy in the world. The only symptoms that I have right now is just tendon pain if I overuse certain tendons and brain fog, which I basically got rid of in the last two weeks by loading up on a ton of probiotics and then using um, some herbal stuff to get rid of the bad guys. I completely think brain fog is contributed by gut imbalances and the microbiome disturbance. Google it, look into it. There's a doctor named Gracie Liu, L-I-U. She runs the Gut Institute. Um, she has a bunch of free stuff you can basically look online and um, watch her videos and she'll tell you all about brain fog and the dizziness and the vertigo and the fatigue and not being able to you know kind of focus that's another thing that like has taken me six years to figure out and it sucks brain fog sucks so if anyone has brain fog send me a high five because it is the worst symptom other than tendon pain which is just as fun <laughs> so you guys are amazing Keep posting positive stuff. I'm going to fill you in on everything that I learned, everything that I can do for you um, to help you guys. I'm going to do everything I can, you know, and I, I want you to reach out to me if you need a shoulder to lean on or if you need help.
All right, guys. Have a good weekend. You're all awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye.